Okay, okay, it's time to start. Um, my name is Agnieszka Halicka, and the title of my presentation today is uh, Collaborative Learning Hubs, the fusion of uh, wiki corners and school libraries in stream education. Uh, at first, I would uh, love to introduce uh, myself to you. Uh, of course, you can uh, learn, uh, read more about me um, in a bio under uh, the description of this session. Um, I wanted to um, introduce myself uh, through a picture generated by AI, uh, Dali, because you know a picture is worth a thousand words. And uh, I think that you can, you can see um, what my mission is. I'm a school librarian. And my mission is to transform school libraries. Uh, so they, they change. They don't focus only on books, on written texts, but also uh, on different media and uh, different topics. I am also an educational trainer, uh, an innovator, and uh, also ambassador of a few edtech brands like Canva, Wakelet, Genially, and uh, some more. Uh, let's focus on this uh, evolving role of school libraries. I can see here um, <coughs> two directions. Uh, so uh, the first one is the transition from focusing only on books because we have uh, different media and we work with information and this information uh, can be, um, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, gain information through different uh, media, uh, diverse uh, forms like uh, also podcasts, uh, audiobooks, uh, videos, but uh, also, for example, 3D uh, printed models. Uh, they also um, uh, they, they, they also uh, give us a lot of information. And the second uh, the second thing uh, is that we uh, not only need to learn passively, so we should focus on uh, uh, activities, on hands-on learnings, experimenting. We give our uh, students access to resources, and so they can. Uh, in our libraries, um, uh, create, experiment. They can, uh, they can do something uh, actively. And uh, this is an example of uh, diverse sources of information. In the school libraries, we can have books, so we uh, <laughs> we dive into this three-dimensional world. Uh, world uh, when we can see pictures of bones and we can read about them, but we can't touch them. And we when we have in libraries 3D printed models, then we can uh, engage different senses, we can look at them at, um, from different angles, and the, res the result is for us the same. It's gaining information, but you know, this uh, holistic picture uh, of it. Uh, Right now, I would like to show you um, an example of uh, a modern learning environment based on uh, my school, uh, my school library uh, in Poland, in Konstantin Jezorna. Uh, uh, this school is, uh, this library is very different from other school libraries uh, in Poland. I think it's the first one transformed, uh, you know, in this way. So. Uh, so, uh, so let's start. What, uh, what uh, have I done uh, there? Uh, the first thing for me, the most important thing, uh, was to uh, prepare a space for my students, uh, prepare a space for their learning. Uh, so I, uh, I wanted to uh, declutter the space. The students were the, uh, in the center, so they, were, they are the most important. They are more, uh, more important than books for a school librarian. Uh, so they should be in the center and books uh, surround them. Uh, we have a flexible educational space uh, with different zones for learning. Uh, and the most important thing uh, are uh, resources all around uh, the students. 
uh, this space uh, is very easy to adapt to different purposes, to different activities, different tasks. Uh, we have uh, mobile tables and chairs and also mobile uh, bookcases so we can arra arrange different you know, spaces, different zones and uh, also different activity zones, zones for example, with uh, bean bags to sit for, for the students. And this is something new, a novelty in Polish school, the first one, uh, 3D printed models library. Uh, it's in a school library. Uh, teachers and students can borrow models for their lessons or they can uh, use these models uh, inside a school library to learn more, to get access to more information, more holistic information. Uh, and we are also equipped with a 3D printer and laser plotter, uh, so they can also design by themselves they can prototype, create, uh, we can print their models or cut with a, a laser plotter. Um, we can work on complex projects and what's very important, they can display and share them. And they also can share their uh, models. Um, uh, uh, what, what's uh, what's uh, interesting that on Wikipedia in uh, Commons uh, there are also uh, STL files, so of course we can contribute to that and we can um, uh, uh, we can use the files that are already there. Uh, acoustic booth, booth uh, is great for students uh, because they can focus there and they can uh, read, learn, uh, record podcasts where everyone around is uh, working on a big project together, the collaborating. They can sit there, learn from each other, instruct each other and record. So it's, uh, it's also something, uh, something new in Polish uh, school libraries. Uh, interactive display for for research, learning, and creating, and also uh, they can use here Wikipedia. Uh, they can uh, play educational games and learn through that. Uh, laptops and tablets are also present there uh, for uh, the same purposes. They can uh, they can work in groups. They can work on nationwide and interdisciplinary uh, projects like. Uh, like this one, Educlex project, uh, or they can learn in, the, uh, in their own pace. Like here with uh, educators from the United States, they learned uh, mathematics in English and uh, all of them have access to the platform. So we also promote different platforms uh, for our students. We have a space for um, robotics and engineering wor workshops. And of course, all devices, uh, all equip when equipment is there in the school library. Uh, so, uh, so they have access to it all the time. And they, come, uh, they can come to uh, the school library all the time and work on their projects. So <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's really essential because they uh, you know, borrow books, they watch videos, they have access to resources and after that, they can, you know, have this hands-on experience when they experiment with uh, everything what they learned, and they have tools to uh, tools to that. Uh, and of course, library and storytelling, we can do it uh, also uh, using robots. And in this library, uh, we have, for example, Zosia. It's uh, Sophie. Uh, a storytelling bot, so uh, so students can combine coding, creating. Uh, they can use their creativity, imagination, and also use their storytelling work on their storytelling skills. So we have everything uh, in one. Of course, I could give you a lot of examples uh, from the school library, what we have and what we do uh, with the students. Uh, not, to, not to just give them, you know, books and uh, organize something uh, focused on reading, but to also uh, to to help them uh, uh, help the, uh, them learn in more deep way. Um, but you know, we face uh, some challenges. We all uh, some challenges of our times. Um, 
uh, uh, challenges that are connected to information. Uh, uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, we, we live in the era of artificial intelligence and right now uh, we have a rapid increase of uh, AI generated content and quite often is, uh, it is a very low quality, uh, quality content. Um, uh, it's uh, full of, you, you know, um, fake news or hallucinations. Uh, and it's uh, produced uh, on so, such a large scale um, and it's, uh, and it's uh, copied and uh, goes viral quite often. So, uh, so it's, uh, it's, really, it's really hard to, uh, to find this um, uh, reliable information that we can uh, later use. Uh, and as you can see, I, uh, I uh, wrote a word uh, slop. I don't know if you heard about it. Uh, yeah, uh, it, uh, I think it's not uh, it's not yet on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, there was a, a discussion about it because uh, it's uh, it's quite new, and uh, it, there, there's uh, not enough uh, reference links. I think uh, not not enough sources uh, to put it there. But I think it will be uh, um, uh, in Wikipedia quite uh, quite soon. Uh, and slope is, uh, is, uh, is uh, this uh, AI generated uh, content that um, uh, that uh, uh, is created mainly you know for uh, search engines for advertising and it's uh, really hard uh, it, there's a lot of it and it's uh, really uh, hard to declutter uh, the internet space to find um, uh, to find uh, reliable in information uh, and i think there will be more and more slop in the uh, in the future there's also um, a big de debate on the importance of you know acquiring knowledge uh, or versus developing uh, skills we talk a lot about it because uh, information now is everywhere, is easy accessible. So uh, a lot of people tell that, okay, we can focus on, uh, on skills and work with our students uh, on skills. One of my colleagues said, uh, let's work on skills because, you know, they can uh, take their smartphones and easily find any information they want. Uh, they don't need to... Uh, learn by heart, they don't need to, you know, uh, sit very long and uh, gather information because it's so easy accessible. Uh, and of course, importance of knowledge is undeniable because it's, uh, it's uh, very important for verifying information and uh, critical thinking. Without uh, very broad basic knowledge we cannot uh, we, we cannot verify information it's really uh, really hard uh, so uh, in schools um, we should uh, be focused on providing students curated content and here comes Wikipedia of course uh, <laughs> as a great source of uh, of information. Uh, uh, we need uh, reliable, well-sourced, reviewed information in our in our schools, uh, and of course now uh, more and more popular digital portfolios uh, for students. Uh, so uh, I would advise uh, in schools to work to work with this uh, method of di digital portfolio to learn to uh, to teach uh, students how they can um, select. Uh, analyze uh, information and put them together to have something uh, of their own and uh, they can reflect on their own uh, their own uh, learning yes uh, slope uh, the, the word first appeared in May 2024 uh, in The Guardian um, so it's time for uh, for uh, Wikipedia, Wik Wikipedia impact uh, in our uh, schools in Poland, uh, we have something amazing. Uh, great educational projects uh, like Wiki Szkoła, uh, Wiki School, and Wikiteka in, in Polish uh, library, yeah, it's a bi biblioteka. So when we have uh, Wikiteka, then it's, uh, you know, the, the two names are combined. Uh, so we have a project for school libraries. Uh, let's see more about these projects. Uh, uh, Szkoła uh, project, so Wiki School, uh, coordinated by Klara Sielicka-Baryłka. She's 
not here right now. And um, based on that project, uh, it there was created another project, Wikiteka, uh, initiated and coordinated by uh, Viola uh, Matusiak, and she is here. Uh, it's an amazing project because uh, she, mm, she wanted to uh, uh, to use uh, Wikipedia, you know, as an uh, idea, a tool to help uh, teacher librarians um, uh, with, uh, oh, so <laughs> um, uh, to uh, to help. Uh, uh, so <laughs> um, uh, to help students. Um, uh, uh, gain information and uh, and so on. And we have a wonderful uh, program. It's a development program for leadership uh, skills of uh, librarian uh, teachers. Uh, this year we have uh, the third edition uh, of this uh, Wikipedia uh, program. Uh, and uh, when uh, Viola, Viola wanted to introduce this program to schools, she asked about the perfect space for it. Uh, where could it be? And she thought about of school libraries because they are really open. Uh, they are not, uh, 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 you know, we don't uh, have the, their. Uh, it's not limited to age groups or uh, time uh, like forty-five minutes time of lesson, and uh, every everybody can come there. Students, teachers, all of them. Uh, and we can do all kind of projects as we want. So it's like uh, it's it's very open, just like uh, Wikipedia. Uh, and uh, teachers who uh, complete the program, they become uh, Wikipedia ambassadors at their schools, and they are asked to create uh, something called Wiki Corner. Have you heard <laughs> of something like that in uh, other countries? It's, uh, I think it's uh, really interesting, and I think it should uh, it should be in all schools all over the world in all school libraries, uh, because we can promote uh, all these uh, um, uh, all the all, all these uh, ideas, you know, of Wikipedia, open knowledge, and we can. Uh, we can um, help students to use uh, different open source platforms, and uh, we can uh, we can collaborate and engage uh, engage them in uh, the various projects. And as you can see um, in this picture, there's, uh, there's a small corner right now uh, in my school library with a wonderful bean bag. Can you? <laughs> Can you imagine such cute bean bags in old school libraries around the world? <laughs> I think that we can uh, we can imagine that with a great logo, so everyone uh, you know knows knows the brand and how to promote uh, Wikipedia in a better way and inspire new users and maybe future contributors by uh, by asking the, uh, them to do their research in a school library right there and to help them. And I think that the key word here is research. Yes, so when we talk about school libraries, we shouldn't talk just you know, about books, about, about promoting, reading, about storytelling. We should talk about information. We should talk about knowledge. We should talk about various skills uh, important in uh, uh, important nowadays so much, uh, and uh, I would like to highlight this word, research, as a, uh, as a, uh, something essential for school libraries in these uh, wonderful corners, as you can see. So we, uh, they are really popular. So this corner is really popular among among students, and they also have devices to uh, use uh, open resources uh, to uh, to learn, experiment, in, use everything they uh, they have in school library. Uh, so remember this word research because we will find it in stream projects, not steam po uh, projects. You know. Steam, uh, STEAM projects, of course, interdisciplinary projects, but this time with this R letter, that's very important. I, I, I read some articles uh, in English, um, 
uh, I think that in the United States, so it's, uh, it's interpreted um, in a various way because R for, uh, stands for robotics or reading, uh, but I think that research is the best term uh, and is the best idea to incorporate into uh, STEAM projects. And why? As we can see, yes, of course, science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, all of, all of it, all, all of that can we, we can find in our school libraries, but research is here a key word. Um, <clears throat> and why this research is so important in STEAM, now STREAM projects, because uh, provide us, provide our students a solid base of information and this uh, information is reliable, yes, when we uh, do our research well. Uh, it uh, helps them to make decisions and to solve problems, and uh, also to, uh, to solve real life problems, which is really, uh, really important. Um, uh, it, um, <clears throat> uh, it's important for their skills of critical thinking. Yes, they can analyze, they can question uh, different uh, sources of information. Uh, they learn how to synthesize uh, them. Uh, they learn how to understand everything deeper. Uh, what's more, when they uh, learn new ideas, uh, they read resources, uh, they, they can um, identify gaps in knowledge. And it, this is very important also for, uh, for their uh, projects. Um, and now we can, uh, we can take a look how they work in a, uh, in a school library, in my school library. Uh, so at first they, they are inspired by resources that are around them, surround them. So they can choose anything when they, uh, they are interested in, uh, I don't know, mechanics or they are interested in uh, animal cells. Uh, it doesn't matter. They can start with resources and maybe later they want to experiment and to, they, have, uh, they have some theories and they want to check if they are right. Yes, so they can experiment, they can use uh, bricks, they can use robots, they can use paper, wood, uh, anything they want, and when they experiment, the res uh, they have the results of experiments, and the results can inspire them to <laughs> to do some more research. Yes, of course, uh, so they can uh, grow all the time, and these play these places these spaces are there. They are ready. So uh, I think that. Mm, uh, one, 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 more, one, more, uh, one more picture of uh, my students working surrounded by resources and experimenting and building their knowledge and uh, gaining some, um, developing some, uh, some new skills. Uh, and I think that the wiki corners should be in all schools. As you can see, I don't, uh, I don't know if you like this uh, idea. Uh, and I hope that you can help with it to promote this idea uh, of uh, wiki corners, um, because uh, wiki corners and whole school libraries, yes, so they are great answer to all challenges um, that I talked about uh, earlier during my uh, during my presentation. Thank you very much. Are there any questions, maybe? Okay. Well, thank you so much for this uh, important work that you're doing in the schools. Um, my question is about other do you encounter resistance from other teachers or administrators in the schools when you're developing these sorts of projects? I taught um, an undergraduate post-secondary course for future English and language arts teachers a few years ago, and I 
tested some of the reading Wikipedia in the classroom curriculum on those teachers to see what they would kind of do with it. Surprisingly, quite a few of them, um, and this is in the US for context, were, were very resistant to the idea of bringing Wikipedia into the public secondary schools. Um, part of that fear was motivated by what would other teachers think, as well as some of the um, long-standing um, biases that people have about Wikipedia as a source. So I'm wondering if you've encountered that. It's a good question. <laughs> of course, uh, some of them are resistant, but uh, if you, uh, you know, uh, if you don't do it, then it won't happen. So, uh, you know, we need to start. My principal at first was like, oh, no, no, we don't need uh, novelties like this. It's, uh, uh, it's strange libraries for reading. But now he's really excite uh, excited about it. And maybe we will uh, have a nationwide conference in our school. So, uh, uh, and thanks to this project and Viola, uh, <laughs> uh, he, here is Viola in this white, uh, white shirt, so you can talk to her uh, uh, later. Uh, thanks to this project, Wikiteka, uh, there are uh, do dozens of teachers that, uh, that are after this one year program, and they started the same things. Um, maybe on a smaller scale, uh, but they have their wiki corners uh, in schools. So we are, you know, the first drops of the change, uh, as I can say. And uh, from my side, uh, I was invited by the Ministry of Education uh, to become a member of the Council of Informatization in Education. So, you know, I will work hard for it. Thank you for your presentation. I just um, wanted to find out in terms of um, all the equipment you have um, there, you know, so most of them are modern technologies. Do you have a capacity building um, program for the teachers to learn how to use the equipment to train their teachers? And um, do you also have any for what the students are doing? I, I know you mentioned you, you, are, you are an ambassador for Canva. Do you have um, sort of resources online that if others want to replicate your program with primary school students we can use? Thank you. Uh, yes, of course, I want to work on a large scale, at least, you know, nationwide, because uh, why not? <laughs> so when we have good ideas, I think that we can, uh, we, we should want to replicate them uh, in other schools. Um, yeah, so uh, I um, do a lot of training for teachers. And I'm a speaker at the conferences, uh, also in my school. So I conduct training for teachers. And uh, I'm also active in social media. And I think it's really powerful because, uh, you know, you can have a webinar for a thousand teachers online. And then they can do that during the pandemic. Uh, uh, for example, I was engaged in gathering resources and creating communities which gathered resources for teachers uh, for example, in Canva or Genially, uh, to share with others. And we had created over 3,000 resources for free uh, for all teachers in Poland. So, you know, if you think about it, then you can do it. Uh, and the, the, the second part of the question was about students. Yes, yes. So we, uh, we have a lot of uh, free resources and right now I want to gather them and create something like a big library of resources, uh, free open resources for uh, students in Poland. So yeah, we started this, we are in the process. So thank you very much uh, once again. And I hope that you are inspired with Wiki Corners and will promote this idea in your countries. Thank you very much.